All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Don't Tell Comedy. Ah, shh. Don't Tell Comedy. Yeah. What we got? This is Andy Huggins, King of One Liners. Ah, okay. So Andy Huggins claims to be the King of One Liners. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, okay. Mitch Yeah. Uh, what the heck? And, um, <laughs> yeah, Mitch might be the best. Mitch might be the uh, best. You've heard uh, you've heard quite a bit of one liners, comedians. One liners, specifically one liners, just the one liners. Right. All right, and I'm mean, you know I haven't heard of Andy Huggins, so I mean let's see let's see what he's got. Okay. Thank I started walking towards the stage three comics ago. <laughs> Forty years ago, when I started doing stand-up, everyone told me it was a great way to meet women. We'll see. I joined a dating site for people my age called Carbon Dating. I uh, asked a woman on the site for her number. She told me it was 140 over 95. <laughs> the great thing about dating a woman my own age, I don't worry about meeting her parents. <laughs> Before I got my hearing aids, my crowd work. It was terrible. I asked an audience member where he was from. He said, my mama. I heard Miami and said I'd been there. <laughs> Recently, my Uber driver was from Egypt. And when I got into his car, he was talking over a phone in Arabic. Only I didn't see any device. So I thought he was talking to me using syllables I didn't recognize. <laughs> And I thought, so, this is what a stroke is like. <laughs> I've become clumsy in my old age. Anybody ever dropped their phone in the toilet? There you go. I did, and after I did, I put my phone in a bag of rice. Anybody ever drop a bag of rice in the toilet? <laughs> I took a quiz on Facebook called, What's Your Spirit Animal? I got extinct. I had a colonoscopy, and when it was over, they said, we'll see you in 10 years. And I thought, the fuck you will. <laughs> I uh, tried using that face aging app. They said, nah, you're good. <laughs> I'm a gamer. Do we have any gamers? What's your game? I'm sorry? Rocket League. Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> Sometimes till 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> Walking can be difficult for me at times. I do worry about tripping and falling, so I wear a helmet. I also worry about looking ridiculous, so I carry a skateboard. I uh, used to smoke cigarettes. I was a heavy smoker. I would even smoke when I went jogging, which is stupid, of course. So I quit jogging. I love smoking cigarettes. I'd smoke after sex. I'd smoke during sex. Sometimes I would skip sex and just smoke cigarettes. I'm officially an old man. I give unwanted advice to total strangers. I told a kid to pull his pants up. His underwear was showing. 
He mocked me, tried to give me a wedgie, <laughs> but the joke was on him. I was wearing the pins. <laughs> I got a brochure in the mail for a prepaid cremation. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, it's a great deal. If you die in a fire, if you die in a fire, you get half your money back. <laughs> thinking of getting a tattoo. I'm just not sure what kind I want to get yet. I'm thinking maybe barbed wire, a skull, my home address. <laughs> Tough getting over. Went into an antique store, they wouldn't let me leave. <laughs> Looked up, saw that light, started to walk towards it. I asked Siri a question about my life expectancy, and she changed the subject. <laughs> There's some advantages to being my age. Frequently, people will stand and offer me their seat, which is great on the bus, a little creepy in the men's room. <laughs> I'm from uh, Houston, Texas, and I can now what? ride the city buses of Houston for free, which is great news for the women of Houston. I can be anywhere in four and a half hours. <laughs> I went to the doctor because I thought, I thought I had arthritis. I don't. I have early onset rigor mortis. <laughs> a friend asked me, if I wanted to participate in the Adopt-A-Grandparent program, I said, sure. Now I have a 95-year-old man on my hands. <laughs> I, uh, I'd love to be a grandfather, but I don't even have children. I need to get busy. Ladies, if you're ever in Houston, I can be anywhere in four and a half hours. <laughs> um, every time I leave my apartment, I have to go back because I forgot something. Tonight, I reached for my wallet, and wouldn't you know it, I forgot my pants. <laughs> I found this new technique which has improved my memory. I quit listening to people, <laughs> so I have less crap to remember. <laughs> I am a recovering alcoholic. I have 36 years sobriety. There were, well, thank you. There were a lot of one night, there were a lot of one night stands back in the day. Here's how we go. I would get drunk, meet a woman, go back to my place, have sex, call myself a cab, leave, remember it was my place. <laughs> One night that lady asked me to spank her. I asked her why she said I'm into discipline. So instead of spanking her, I made her go stand in the corner. <laughs> that was a difficult relationship. She had multiple personalities. And I'm bad with names. <laughs> In college, I wrote a paper entitled The History of Public Intoxication in the United States of America from Colonial Times to Early This Morning. <laughs> I flunked out of college twice. First time because I was a drunk. Second time I was sober, but the shit was hard. <laughs> I love drinking during the holidays. I'd get drunk and go trick-or-treating. Every holiday I would get drunk and go trick-or-treating. <laughs> I love drinking before my a show, not my show, Good Morning America. <laughs> I 
I got arrested once for drunk driving. Not only was I drunk, but I'd been smoking hash. When I took the breathalyzer test, I inhaled, tried to pass it to the cop. Uh, YOLO. <laughs> so I was arrested, pled guilty. For my community service, I left the community. My first Alcoholics Anonymous meeting did not go well. I mean, it's anonymous, right? I wore a ski mask. <laughs> I am 74 years old. Life expectancy for men is 76 years. Life expectancy for women is 81 years. I figure if I transition... <laughs> I just paid off my student loan. <laughs> Y'all been in the light. Thank you very much. Man. Well, you know, I guess we must have been under a rock somewhere, man. Because Andy yeah. Huggins, he ain't that bad. You know? <laughs> I like him. I like him. He's from Houston. Exactly. Exactly. He had some good. good those those were those were solid one liners. Right, right. And he kept it going. He kept you it. Know? You have to stick with it. Right. Is if you show commitment, you know, that's the that's the, you know that's the key. <laughs> and when you do these one liners, you got to show commitment. Keep doing them, and he did. Exactly. Stuck to it. <laughs> Not all old people are like Biden, you know. You know, some of them still got it up together. They get through a whole. Yeah, he remembered way. all them jokes. <laughs> At seventy six, he remembered <laughs> all them jokes. Seventy four. Oh, seventy four. He was seventy four. Seventy four guy. Jeez, it's not that old. No, <laughs> it is. It is old. Okay, life especially for a woman's eighty one. Yeah, and yeah. a man is seventy six. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, you know. That's honestly that's higher than I I really expected. For the man or for the woman. For both. Right. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I guess so, you know. Yeah. I wonder if it's why I wonder if it's like a wheel to live past seventy five isn't there anymore or just the Oh. You know, I, I think like, it's probably you know, you just get to old, old, old man. Sheesh. Everybody wanna live, everybody wanna live. Yeah, honey. <laughs> right? I don't know if I wanna I don't know if shit. <laughs> I gotta be able to do everything I wanna do. Age. If I get to the point where I can't do what I want to do, <laughs> if I can't, you know. Time to kick the bucket. Yeah, if I need help using the restroom or something. All right, man, look, at 74, we'll be up there telling one-liners. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, you could be president. You could be anything at 74, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Andy Huggins, man. He's a native. H. Tony, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, it takes four hours on the buses. He can be anywhere in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies. <laughs>